This mod is an add-in for epic fight, it introduces a fighting style and weapon wielded by Dante, featuring fiery kicks and punches. Also, the mod adds a new guard skill. Simply parry an attack while holding the block, press and hold the attack to use royal straight flush, this will deal high damage and knockdown. Hamsters Plus is a simply mod that adds hamsters and hamster wheel. Hamsters spawn in plains, sunflower fields, and meadows, and hamster wheel recipes are unlocked once you have obtained copper ingots. You can tame hamsters with wheat seeds, and tamed hamsters can also be picked up by shift right clicking. This mod is an API for anyone who wants to use the archaeology system for older versions. Enchant Icon is a simple mod that offers a quick solution for viewing the enchantment status. Pressing the assigned key, the icons of enchanted items will appear, and the level of enchantment will be displayed in the top left corner as a number. Additionally, if a book has multiple enchantments, it will alternate to display all of its enchantments. Default effect is only for enchanted books, you can modify this in the config file to affect the other enchanted items, and change the background and the symbol style in the config file. Seven Seas is an expansion of the structures mod when dungeons arise. While the latter focuses on massive land structures, Seven Seas takes this further by adding complex ships and other oceanic dungeons, while following similar design ideas, vanilla customization, and data pack possibilities. Infinity Cave is a mod that alters the world height from minus 64 to minus 128 and introduces a new type of cave generation, where everything interconnects into an absurdly giant cave system. There are five new cave biomes and additions to the deep dark biome, making it possible to explore six different biomes, and each biome has at least one structure. The mod is designed for later stages of the game and introduces roguelike mechanics to explore and conquer the caves, due to its difficulty, it is suggested to play on easy mode the first time playing. Mobs come in five different tiers, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Each mob has randomized stats making all of them unique to each other. Each mob will be assigned a random offhand item, and these items have different mechanics that affect the mob's stats or behavior. It is not possible for higher tiers to spawn right away, as the player must defeat common mobs and uncommon mobs in order to progress. 
Infinity Cave has a progressive point system which is designed around groups, meaning if you play with your friends they will also progress with you while fighting in the caves. With this in mind, there are several different items one can obtain and utilize to snowball towards defeating higher tiers. When the rare tier is unlocked, more custom mobs will spawn. Finally, this mod is highly configurable, and the function Infinity Cave command can show a menu that provides options such as disabling mob spawning, adjusting difficulty, and modifying mob behavior. Herbal Brews is a mod centered around tea and brewing, featuring lavender tea, black tea, green tea, as well as coffee and potions. Various new plants and flowers can now be found in the world, hibiscus, lavender, coffee plants, as well as various exotic variations of tea plants. Tea leaves can be collected by shearing flowers, these can then be either cultivated as tea plants or dried, you can combine 9 tea leaves and place the block outside. There are two different tea kettles available, copper and iron, both kettles only differ aesthetically. Place the kettle on a furnace, add all the required ingredients, and just wait a moment. Most teas have effects that positively impact all players within a certain radius. There is also the option to create potions, and a brewing cauldron is required. Potions come in vials and have long-lasting strengthening effects. Additionally, to brew with style, there are various hats inspired by witches and wizards. Finally, Herbal Brew's banner is a reward for crafting all tea variants, which grants absorption in a radius of 8 blocks. Dragonkind Evolved is a mod that builds upon the vanilla Ender Dragon fight, rather than recreate the battle from scratch, it adds additional features and mechanics to increase difficulty and complexity while holding true to the general gameplay loop introduced by vanilla. Additionally, it incentivizes and rewards respawning the Ender Dragon. While the initial Ender Dragon fight does include changes, each successive battle will feature new dragon types and end crystal mechanics, both of which will continue to scale in difficulty as you slay more and more Ender Dragons. The vanilla Ender Dragon has three new abilities at all times. When there are no more end crystals left, all dragon types will begin to utilize these abilities in addition to their type-specific powers. Ground all players, this gives all players levitation 128 for 20 seconds, effectively forcing them to land if flying with Elytra, and preventing them from taking off right away. Summon and Rod Spikes, these work similarly to Evoker Fangs, and are summoned when the dragon is perching or preparing to perch, or as a last resort. Summon Shulker Bullets, this summons a ring of 12 Shulker Bullets around the dragon, which will begin to target random players after a few moments. Additionally, whenever an end crystal is destroyed, it will regenerate. The maximum number of times each end crystal can regenerate increases the higher the Ender Dragon difficulty, but for the first battle, the maximum is 2. They can also regenerate fewer than the max, but no less than once. Whenever an end crystal regenerates, it has a chance to possess at least one ability, up to a maximum of three. At higher difficulties, end crystals will be guaranteed to have at least one ability, and will start with an abilities rather than needing to regenerate first. Whenever an ender dragon is respawned, it will gain a random type, which changes or adds onto its behavior. All ender dragons have more health than normal, and will have even more health depending on how many times it has been respawned. Defeating an Ender Dragon now drops loot near the exit portal, which varies based on the Dragon type. These items are powerful in their own right, and are more effective when used against dragons. However, they all have a curse of deterioration, which means they all have durability and cannot have the mending enchantment applied to them. Finally, there are also advancements for killing each type and each difficulty of dragon. This mod is a spiritual successor to the Forge-based Dynamic Surroundings series, while much of the functionality remains similar, the ultimate feature set will differ. Individual Sound Control, the mod allows you to set key binds and activate them in-game. You can use this feature to block, cull, and control the volume of sounds. Biome Sounds, various atmospheric sounds that play based on biomes in the area, seamless blending of sounds as the player moves throughout the world. Waterfall Effect, Water pulling downward will trigger water spray and waterfall sound. Hot block effects, such as flame jets over lava, and steam where water hits a hot block, hot blocks are things like lava and magma. Also, the mod replaced Minecraft's thunder sound with improved versions. This is an add-in for Farmer's Delight in Terra Firmacraft. The mod completely adapts Farmer's Delight to the world of Terra Firmacraft. 
Utilizing resources from the terra firma craft world, Farmer's Delight recipes now incorporate ingredients such as vegetables, fruit, and meat sourced from terra firma craft, enhancing your cooking experience. Farmer's Delight now aligns with the terra firma craft food decay system, causing each food item to expire. The update introduces specific nutrients for various Farmer's Delight foods, expired ingredients cannot be used, and food past its expiration date is unusable. Also, it introduces compatibility for tools and components. Additionally, it introduces the possibility of using a terra firma craft fireplace for cooking with a pot from Farmer's Delight. Elementus Arcane is an add-in for iron spells and spellbooks, the mod adds three new magic items to the game. The Rune Greatsword is a sword imbued with three spells. It has eight attack damage, one attack speed, and provides a 30% reduction in cast time. The Anthectite Grimoire is an upgrade to the Ironbound Tome, it features 9 spell slots, an epic rarity, and a 5% increase in spell damage. The Mystical Compendium is an upgrade to Anthectite Grimoire, features 12 spell slots, legendary rarity, a 15% increase in spell damage, and provides a 5% reduction in cast time. Mel's Deco is a decor and cosmetics mod that adds a wide variety of furniture options, as well as some cosmetics for you to wear. It includes everything from classic furniture blocks like tables, counters and cabinets to more interesting blocks like holograms, LED light blocks and particle machines to completely unique features such as the Smiley Copter. This mod is perfect for creative building, while still being accessible to survival players, as it covers many building themes including classic town, city, cottage core, fantasy, futuristic, and more. Unusual Fish adds a plethora of fictional fish and other aquatic creatures to the game, as well as new gear, blocks, and foods. The unusual fish from this mod can be found in many of the game's aquatic biomes. Many of these fish will drop their item form when killed, which can be cooked into a fish fillet, or crafted into one of the culinary delicacies this mod adds. You can craft a sea spine block to defend your underwater base, collect ripper teeth after they prey upon another fish, feed a sea pancake for a rare weather shell, or use the volt detector block to track nearby volt anglers for a redstone signal. Additionally, enchanting a fishing rod with the unusual catch enchantment is an alternative method to catch unusual fish and other items. This mod adds colored end crystals to the game. The colored end crystals are craftable from vanilla end crystals, just place desired colored die next to end crystal and you'll be able to create a colored variant. You can place them on any solid ground, and it does not have to be obsidian or bedrock. Additionally, the mod adds a crystal screwdriver that can be used to show the end crystal's pedestal and change the height of levitation. Create Trimmed is a mod that allows Create's materials to be used as armor trim materials, you can now trim the armor by using brass, zinc, rose quartz, and ender pearls. This mod brings forth an exquisite assortment of medieval armor and clothing, drawing inspiration from renowned works such as Lord of the Rings, Robin Hood, Monty Python, and more. Each armor set within this mod is meticulously crafted, boasting custom models that possess a remarkable 32-pixel resolution. Additionally, all armor sets have undergone testing with the Epic Fight mod, ensuring optimal compatibility and eliminating any unsightly glitches or inconsistencies. This is a port of Noisium for Forge, the mod optimizes world gen performance for a better gameplay experience. Noisium changes some world generation functions that other mods don't touch, to fill in the gaps left by other performance optimization mods. Most notably, the Noise Chunk Generator and Populate Noise are optimized to speed up block state placement when generating new chunks. There are also three other smaller optimizations, that increase biome population speed, chunk unlocking speed, and the speed of sampling block states for generation. This mod introduces a new feature, you can now obtain a nondescript wall-mounted singing fish, possibly resembling a bigmouth bass, in your Minecraft world. You can also power him with redstone for non-stop entertainment, while he may not excel at lip-syncing, the sentiment is what matters. Improved sign editing is a client-side mod which adds some quality of life changes to the process of writing text on signs in-game. Whenever text is typed on a sign, and the next word doesn't fit, it automatically shifts to the next line, no need for guessing whether the next part fits. It also works the other way around, when using backspace, it goes back to the previous line. In addition, functionality can be toggled in the config or in-game via the button. 
Create the salt is an add-in that add the water evaporation mechanic from the salt mod into create. With this, automation of salt can be possible, and you need 1000 millibuckets of water in a heated basin to produce one salt. This is a lightweight mod that makes data saved asynchronously during the intermittent world save every 5 minutes to prevent lag spikes. Unlike the smooth chunk save mod, this one doesn't deal with chunks. Instead, it handles all the extra data stored alongside a world, including rate data, capability data, and all modded data added to a world. No animal temp delay removes the cooldown period in between an animal being attracted to their desired food that a player is holding. If they see the food, they'll always be tempted by it, this makes moving animals over long distances a whole lot easier. Persistent Inventory Search is a client-side mod designed to make inventory management in creative mode a lot easier. By default when using the search function, you'll lose the query once a different tab is chosen or when the inventory is closed. What this mod does is save whatever you've been searching for and immediately show it again when opening the search tab, so you can continue to work with your favorite blocks without having to type their names over and over again. Francium is a forge optimization mod that enhances performance and increases FPS by replacing certain random fields with thread local random. It draws inspiration from faster random, but unlike faster random, Francium does not alter world generation. Instead, Francium provides a broader and more rooted implementation. This is a simply mod that adds color and formatting options to signs. This mod transforms villages, infusing them with a modern and vibrant atmosphere. Players can enjoy an immersive experience featuring enhanced structures, interactive elements, and hidden secrets to be discovered within the libraries of each village. 